After nearly a decade of working in restaurants, I have noticed French onion soup is always a home run with guests. Now I get to recreate that addictive, savory, cheesy, too hot, but you eat it anyway, French soup with a few secrets from the restaurant. Welcome back to boarding. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? My name is Mitch May, learning how to cook every freaking recipe in Anthony Bourdain's Layout Cookbook. French onion soup. This is the recipe from Anthony Bourdain's restaurant he was executive chef at. This does have a few twists from what I've seen on the interwebs, and there's actually a trick for cutting the onions. Yes, the way you cut an onion determines a few factors. I have to cut a lot of onions. Will I cry? Probably. Will it be because of the onions? Maybe. Let's break it down. Six ounces or 168 grams of butter. I use Kerrygold, it's unsalted. It's gotten to cult status as far as my affiliation with Kerrygold at this point. Eight large onions. I did not have super large onions, so I opted for 10 medium-ish sized onions. Two ounces of pork, two ounces of balsamic vinegar. And I lost the audio, but two quarts of chicken stock. Four ounces of slab bacon, cut up into half inch cubes. One bouquet of garni, parsley, bay leaf, and thyme, all tied together. Baguette croutons as well. This is the perfect opportunity to use some crappy bread that's been lying around. 12 ounces of Gruyere cheese. I went for mild. Some people I know don't like super strong flavors. I am not one of them. And cute little soup crocs. I'm gonna link them down below in the description. Rare, I find something on Amazon that actually feels quality. These feel like quality and they're cute. I have Anthony Bourdain's book linked down below in the description. Let's get moving. We begin with chopping up a ton of onions. Knife, nice and sharp. <laughs> A few little grazes with the whetstone. That's not a whetstone, that's a honing rod. Simple yellow onions, about medium size. Like I said, I have about 10 of them. Chop off there, there, slice them in half. And then I'm gonna just repeat that. Everything's all chopped in half. Now I'm just gonna rip off the brown skin. There really is just a zen-like thing that happens when you're cooking. I don't know what it is, man. I think it's why it attracts a bunch of ADD brains. We crave just a little peace now and then. Update, minor tears, nothing nuts. We're kind of at goldfish died level. While we're vibing out here, I posted on Reddit a dish I made, the chicken in particular, and everyone seemed to like it. So if you're watching because of the subreddit, thanks for coming along. I'm looking for a platform to blog sort of, and I think Reddit is a perfect spot for that. There we have it, a whole bunch of onions chopped up. We're going to cut these. The method of cutting is pretty important, but this, this will lead to an almost mealy texture and a real breakdown of the onions. Where if you cut these pole to pole, which is there and there, pole to pole is when you cut from that end to that end. The other way is when you cut straight through like that. We begin, pole to pole, thinly sliced. Let's start the clock. Update, cutting with kind of the middle of the knife has been very helpful for me. I think we have enough onions. Very satisfying to do. I'm not crying that bad. Like, I don't know if it's because I already got it out of my system earlier or what. It's really not that bad. It, Ooh. I feel it. Let's get this out of here before it gets too crazy. Let's go over to the stove now, shall we? In a large pot, heat the butter over medium heat until it's melted and begins to brown. Add the onions and cook over medium heat, stirring occasionally until they are soft and browned. About 20 minutes. This is definitely gonna be low and slow. Might go over 20 minutes, we'll see. And then Bourdain comments, make damn sure the onions are a nice dark, even brown color. While this is doing its thing, let's take care of our croutons. Just gonna go about like a half inch thickness. That should hopefully be able to stand up in the oven. I'm gonna cut another in the honor of my ex stomping grounds, Chop House. Man, I loved that place. They use giant freaking cubes. I wanna say they use brioche, not certain though. To make it uniform, I'm just gonna to try to get them square. Cut it down there. There we have some giant croutons. And then just give them a drizzle. I'm gonna use avocado oil. Just give it a toss. Up, a uh, little more drizzle. I realize they should probably be laying down before I pepper them up, whatever. And now hear me out. I am going to add a little, just a little cocoa powder because, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I gotta get a pan, I'll be right back. I don't think you necessarily have to oil these up. I really don't. 350 for like 20 minutes and see where we stand. I don't know if it's better to kind of flash them. Magical Gruyere. I don't think we can eat this rind. Shave around it. This has a nice strong smell to it. Yes. Damn, that's good. Mmm. Let's grate it down. Comment of the week. Mitchell Gamer. 
I'm real glad you like my edits. Trial and error, each video you can see I kind of do a little tweak, whether it's the lighting, and I'm assuming you're gaming. I have been playing Dark Souls. Whew, kind of like a good test in the real world because it beats you down real good. <laughs> we got our toast toasting. We got our onions breaking down. So it's been 20 minutes, as you can see, not much of a change in color. And also there's still some pretty decent moisture to be cooked out of these. I got a hunch we're gonna, I got a hunch we're gonna need another 20 minutes. 40 minutes in time. Got some scorching, that's not too sexy. Still not at the nice dark color I want. Another 20 minutes. Croutons are done as well. It has been all of one hour. I know you're getting excited. I'm getting excited. I want to go 20 more minutes. We are now looking at a beautiful, dark, deep color. 20 minutes I knew sounded too good to be true. I just had a feeling, man. It could probably even go a little darker, but I don't wanna get carried away. We're gonna increase the heat to medium high and stir in the port and the vinegar. Add the bacon, that's gonna be the kicker. Add the chicken stock and a bouquet garni and bring to a boil. Reduce to a simmer, season with salt and pepper and cook for 45 minutes to an hour, skimming any foam off the top with a ladle. Plate into our cute little crocs, top with the croutons, top with cheese, melt that shit, and let's try it. A confession. I was never really big on French onion soup. <laughs> Let's see if the king AB can change my mind. This is gonna burn, but I don't care. That's good. That is I get the hype. I get the addiction. I get the obsession. The bacon has turned into melt in your mouthage. The cheese. I wish I got a little more crust and cringle on the edges because that's when really the flavor comes through. Super winter dish vibes for sure. Uh, I got no words. I love how it's like a meal, basically. If I were to make this again, I wouldn't do much different. The 20 minutes cook time, not long enough. You're looking at an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Definitely monitor so you don't get any burning and scorching of the onions themselves. If you have subscribed, it really means a lot. Every time I see one subscriber, I just freaking fist pump in the air. I am doing a giveaway at a thousand subs. You could probably guess what I'm gonna give away. But we're moving along here. I even have a cameraman now, which is pretty sweet here. Let me, let me show you. His name's Guillermo. He helped me out. I went to school with him. Guillermo, say hi to the peeps. Thank you for spending your time with me. I love having you. Bigger, badder, dishes to come. Pheasant, liver, blood and guts. This was back to Bourdain. You stay organized and clean up after yourself. You do the best you can. touch of that. Tell me you would not dive into that at first.